Hello everybody and welcome to Story Spotlight. My name is Heather and I am a children's specialist with the St. Paul Public Library and I'm really excited to share with you my favorite, one of my favorite, story time books. We're going to do a couple things together actually and I think I need to consult my list so I don't forget what we're going to do. Let's see, the list says number one, share a story. Number two, ask the kids a very important question. So stay tuned for that. And number three, share one fun fact about myself. Okay. How about we start with number one? Share a story. Are you ready for a story? I've got one right here. So get comfortable. Can everybody see? It's called Hoot Owl, Master of Disguise, written by Sean Taylor and illustrated by Jean Julian. Ah, this word. Disguise. Is that a word that you know? Well, disguise is a disguise is like um, putting something on so so that no one recognizes you. So maybe you put on a mask or a big hat and glasses or a cape. You're just um, yeah. So, so putting something on or changing your voice so people don't recognize you, and it just makes me wonder what is Hoot Owl up to? Hmm. Why is he the master of disguise? Let's find out. Here we go. The darkness of midnight is all around me, but I fly through it as quick as a shooting star. And look there, a tasty rabbit for me to eat. Soon my sharp beak will be gobbling that rabbit up. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. I devise a costume. Look! I disguise myself as a delicious carrot. It is the perfect way to catch a rabbit. I wait. It doesn't work. Never mind. I am Hoot Owl. I am hungry. And here I come. The night has a thousand eyes and two of them are mine. I swoop through the bleak blackness like a wolf in the air. And look there. A juicy little lamb stands helpless in the cool of the night. The lamb looks cuddly, but soon I will be eating it. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. I devise a costume. Look, I disguise myself as a soft and fluffy mother sheep. It is the perfect way to catch a lamb. I wait. Do you think it'll work? It doesn't work. But still, I am Hoot Owl. I am hungry. The terrible silence of the night spreads everywhere, but I cut through it like a knife. And look there, a pigeon stands, trembling, afraid that a dangerous creature of the dark, such as an owl, might be passing by. In a matter of moments, the pigeon will be in my tummy. Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. I devise a costume. Look! I disguise myself as an ornamental bird bath. It is the perfect way to catch a pigeon. I wait. It doesn't work, but never mind. I am Hoot Owl. I am very, very hungry. And here I come. The shadowy night stretches away forever as black as burnt toast. And look there, a mouth-watering pizza. My eyes glitter like sardines because I am sure the pizza will be mine. Can you smell it? Everyone knows owls are wise, but as well as being wise, I am a master of disguise. 
I devise a costume. Look, I disguise myself as a waiter. It is the perfect way to catch a pizza. I wait. The disguise works. The pizza does not move. They don't call me master of disguise for nothing. I chomp the pizza with my deadly dangerous beak. It is pepperoni. The last bite is as good as the first. Then, tired but satisfied, I transfer myself back into plain hoot owl. I disappear into the dark enormousness of the night. I am gone and the world can sleep again until Hoot Owl returns. The end. Did you like that story? I love this story so much. It is one of my favorites. Okay, there was something else we were supposed to do together. Ooh. Oh, here, I'll look in the, at our to-do list. Number one, share a story, and uh, yes, we've done that. Number two, ask the kids a very important question. Okay, are you ready for your very important question? My question for you is this. Do you collect anything? Do you have any collections? Uh, for instance, like, have you ever been to the beach and taken a pail and maybe put um, shells or cool rocks that you found and then bring it home? Or have you ever walked to the park and collected really cool leaves and now you have a leaf collection? Maybe you love the color green, so your pocket is full of green objects. You can call that your green things collection. Well, this, this leads me to number three, share one fun fact about myself. And um, I will tell you, I, I collect things as well. I have an owl collection. No, 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 I, not, not real owls, of course not. But I love to collect things um, that have owls on them. So uh, I'll show you, hold on. For instance, in this bag, um, I probably have something with an owl on it. Well, I thought I did, I guess I don't. Uh, let's see, do I have anything? Okay, I'm looking and I have, I thought I had something with an owl in here too, and I, nothing with an owl. Okay. Maybe in this pouch I'll find something with an owl. Yes, I found it, I found it. Actually, this is really special to me, everybody. So this is a painting of um, two owls, and my mother made this for me. She painted this, and I was quite young when she did this, and I think my love for owls started way back then, and I have collected them ever since. And I'll show you a couple more things, okay? Let's see, I've got another. Hey, I have a bag with an owl on it. That's pretty cool. Ooh, ooh. Okay, inside this bag I have a puppet. Um, by the way, this puppet is um, Mr. Owl. Anybody? Might, might remember Mr. Owl, some of you out there. Yeah, he's kind of a big deal. I also have my owl nightlight. In case you have to get up in the middle of the night, it's good to have a nightlight, right? I've also got my owl um, socks. Yeah, good socks. Ooh, and this really cool owl plate. Isn't that neat? painted right on there. And one more thing I'll share with you, although I have all many more owl things in my home. Uh, this really cool book. Um, this is all about different types of owls. Uh, and so if you have an interest in owls, you could actually request books from the library and learn more about owls too. That'd be kind of neat. So those are just a few things that I have um, in my collection, although I feel like there was one more I was gonna share with you and now I can't think of what it was. Anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me for Story Spotlight. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the book and please do go to spbl.org to see more great virtual programming and book lists and to stay connected. Okay, thanks everyone, bye-bye.